Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Yes, Zedlos is right. I'm becoming a fanboy. I'm becoming an Apple fanboy. Yeah, I've got the 17-inch MacBook Pro that was sponsored by Blue Sky Factory in relation to Gnome Dex. The 15-inch that was sponsored by Legit, thanks to Cranberry XL for uh, helping that sponsorship actually happen for Gnome Dex, my annual conference that I do with my I got a message that came into my inbox, chris at perillo.com, in case you're wondering. It says, I own a MacBook Pro, and I've had it for about a year and a half now. I think it's about the best laptop I've ever owned. I purchased Parallel's desktop for the Mac about six months ago and put the icing on the cake. The ability to run Mac OS X and Windows XP side by side is phenomenal. I now want to be able to run Windows Vista. I know Parallel supports Vista, <sighs> but I've read about some limited functionality like not being able to run Windows Arrow. I've read that they will support it in future rele releases, but have given no indication to a timeline. I'm also concerned that the memory usage. I have 2 gigabytes of RAM installed, and my existing Windows XP VM is only set to use 604 megabytes, which is plenty for the OS to run. Reading the requirements for Vista, I'm assuming you would need at least 1 gigabyte of RAM for Vista to operate. I've read about Apple's Boot Camp being up to snuff with Windows Vista for providing full driver support for all the hardware, and it can even run Windows Arrow. Although this would be a great solution to my problem, I do see downsides. Uh, partitioning the hard drive for Vista installation, Rebooting each time I want to get into a particular operating system, no sharing of files, uh, and it's still in beta release. Uh, that would be Boot Camp, a product from Apple, and that will be in beta until Leopard is uh, finally uh, released or unleashed into the world. I noticed that you received a new MacBook Pro from a sponsor, yay, that you may have been playing with. If you were thinking about doing this, which way would you go? What would your recommendation be? Recommendation? Recommendation. I'm making up words now. If I go with Parallels, should I purchase more RAM? Should I wait to try Boot Camp until Leopard is released? I'd appreciate any comments you might have on this subject. Well, uh, Parallels, for all intents and purposes, uh, is a good product. Um, certainly, it's been about the only one available for OS X for quite a while that would allow you to run multiple operating systems within OS X itself, uh, Windows, Linux, you name any derivation of a, a virtual machine, uh, and it could likely be run inside of OS X with the Parallels product. There's a Parallels desktop for Windows as well. Of course, it doesn't get that much buzz uh, just because, well, there's been another leader in that particular field that I've talked about before, I've uh, you know written about it several times. Uh, you know, Parallels uh, has got performance issues, and despite newer releases, a lot of people are having uh, more and more headaches with it. And they dealt with it for a while because, yeah, it was the uh, uniqueness of being able to run Windows inside of OS X relatively seamlessly. <sighs> I keep sighing. Every time I think of Windows Vista, I sigh. Um, you're right, uh, the full-on Windows Arrow experience is not available in virtual machines uh, at, as of yet, uh, at least that I know of, and, and they may crack the code sooner or later. I'd give them probably another year and you'd be fine, but uh, I'd have to ask you, why do you want to run Vista on a virtual machine? You might as well just run Windows XP because you know that's just far less problematic than Windows Vista. Um, but uh, you talked about Boot Camp, which is the product that basically allows you to boot between Mac OS X or Windows on a MacBook, or uh, I'm sorry, just a, a Mac, an Apple computer in general, um, then Parallels, which is the virtual machine software we've talked about before. One product you didn't mention, and just because this is so new and it's not getting as much buzz as I believe it should be getting, and I'm saying this uh, knowing full well that... Uh, uh, um, you know, I've talked about them before for my solution with Windows Vista problems, and now they've finally released a product for OS X. Uh, the company name, VMware. And if you're not familiar with it, they've been doing virtual machine software for years and years and years and years and years, largely in the corporate realm, uh, helping software developers test software on multiple platforms and uh, installing virtual machines uh, and allowing users to, um, you know, try operating systems without necessarily having to reboot the computer every time they wanted to try something new. Dual booting and whatnot goes all out the window when you start using virtual machine software. 
So VMware just recently released, as in like just last week, VMware Fusion for OS X, and I'm, I'm watching it right now on my screen, which is why I keep looking down. And I can tell you, performance-wise, it blows parallels out of the water. Price-wise, it's really competitive. In fact, it was half off if you got in on the beta, uh, and uh, even at uh, full price, it certainly is worth it, uh, again, uh, because of the performance that comes tied with Product. What I did here is I copied over a the VMware virtual machine installation that I had installed on Windows Vista. This is Windows XP here. This little window here that's Windows XP, and uh, this is the same virtual machine that I had running on Windows Vista. The Windows XP virtual machine works on OS 10 as well because VMware also has a product, VMware Workstation is one of the products for Windows in general that allows me to run virtual machines. Of course, I can't run a virtual machine of OS X, but that's a completely different discussion. Then behind it, if you notice this nice little matrixy kind of screen, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's Linux. So I'm also running Linux in a virtual machine on OS X, as well as Windows at the same time on OS X. And the nice thing is, is that at least with Windows, this is again Windows XP, I can go into a mode that you might be familiar with if you ever uh, used parallels uh, the that will allow me to click a button and then run Windows applications n like they're running natively inside of OS 10. Uh, this is just an amazing, amazing feature that essentially gets rid of the virtual machine window and allows me to interact and interoperate with Windows software right there on my OS 10 desktop. Uh, this is slick and like I said before I think the reason why VMware Fusion is going to give Parallels a run for its money literally is because of the performance issues uh, with the same amount of RAM I think you're gonna find a lot better performance with VMware Fusion than you did with Parallels uh, in fact with VMware Fusion you have the opportunity to toggle between um, optimizing for the virtual machine for uh, the virtual machine performance or optimizing for Mac OS 10 performance depending on what you're trying to do. You also have the opportunity to turn on and off the uh, one or two CPUs for the virtual machine which is very very nice to have. Uh, there's also the ability to in OS 10 uh, and uh, specifically with VMware uh, and I'm sorry I'm going on and on about it, but you know this wasn't getting mentioned, and I think it, it definitely warrants your attention. There's a little launch applications uh, window in OS X that basically scours through the Windows Start menu in the virtual machine for Windows and allows me to launch programs directly from my Windows virtual machine and place it right there on my Mac desktop. What I just launched here was Windows Movie Maker in OS X, and I can drag the window around and it's fast, it's seamless, uh, doesn't seem to be taking any more um, resources than I would expect it to uh, in, in such a way that I'm not feeling dogged, I'm not feeling slowed down by any stretch of the imagination um, and, and that's I guess VMware's biggest boon is, and its asset is the fact that it does have a lot of history um, in terms of uh, creating virtual machines and optimizing per for performance. And of course, they just released the final version of their first version of VMware Fusion, so I'm sure there are still a few bugs to work out. But I think it's definitely worth you checking out. If you're worried about performance with parallels, uh, try VMware Fusion. My guess is even with two gigabytes of RAM, as this MacBook has installed, I think you're going to be happier uh, with the way that uh, VMware Fusion handles uh, memory management and, and virtual machines. In fact, this Linux product that I installed in the virtual machine is available for free. Uh, you can, I mean, you can download it for free. They uh, they make it available for free. There's tons of virtual machines you can download for free once you've registered uh, or purchased the the VMware product. Uh, Woohoo! I'm on the TV. Well, it's not exactly like a TV. Does Fusion just let you use Windows programs, or is it like Parallels? Well, it's kind of like Parallels does that too. Uh, but you can use Windows programs as if they're running natively within OS X. Your computer doesn't matter. Um, I mean, at least as far as uh, the, the host operating system being OS X, uh, and as long as it's an Intel-based uh, MacBook or Mac or Apple machine, then you, you should be able to run VMware Fusion without uh, too many snags. Uh, 
Uh, I think that, as I've said before many times, this is kind of the way of the future. But instead of telling you to go with boot camp uh, for all the reasons you stated, kind of a, a pushing people against that decision, um, and if you really don't like parallels, try VMware Fusion. It's definitely worth a shot. And if anything, you can download the demo, try it. If you don't like it, fine, no big deal. If you do like it, register it. You'll be happier. Um, I think these products are going to get better and better and better over time. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with it next. Uh, in fact, let me show you something. And again, I know the, the brightness and contrast are a little off here. So that helps. I'm going to turn on. I, I've got, since it's a MacBook Pro, I've got to hold on to. I can't reach the key. Hang on. I've, I've got a different key set up. If I go in and go into Expose, which basically in OS X will allow you to see all the windows all at once, um, the windows that are running as if they're running on the Mac desktop, Windows apps sitting side by side with Mac apps are fully accessible and visible through Expose as well, which is kind of cool. I mean, shouldn't this be the way you would want to run? I mean, why have just a regular old Windows PC when you can have OS X and Windows running side by side as if they were meant to be together? Of course, Windows apps look even uglier on OS X than they do on Windows itself. Uh, well, anyway. So I uh, set up a poll here to see uh, what people thought about this whole uh, VMware uh, fusion and, uh, you know, parallels and, and didn't get a chance to ask Boot Camp because I only had four responses here. It says, what do you use on your Mac? Uh, Parallels, VMware Fusion, uh, I don't want a Mac, or I don't have a Mac yet. And uh, we're going to see the live polls. Uh, now I use VMware Fusion on my Mac. Uh, 13% use Parallels. Looks like 2% I use VMware Fusion. 24% say, I don't want a Mac. But I wonder, I wonder if I'll, I'll let people recant here. Uh, if they now see that they can run Windows apps natively side by side with OS X apps with Parallels and or VMware Fusion, I wonder if they would change their vote. Number four is the most telling. It says, I don't have a Mac yet. 59%. Uh, so I would say that's, a, that's pretty nice. I think a lot more geeks uh, are looking into going this route just because, well, it seems to be fun and exciting in the best of all worlds. Linux, Windows, OS X, right there, clicking around. Why would you not want that? Of course, Linux fan does not want a Mac. Well, Linux people are, well, I, I think they're from another planet. Different video. Uh, anyway, so uh, let me know what you think. Uh, have you uh, decided to move to VMware Fusion? Are you just happy with Parallels? I mean, which way do you go? Uh, I certainly have a, a coupon code available for Parallel still. I don't have a coupon code for VMware Fusion, but I'm sure you're going to hear me talking about it more and more often. I can tell you this, uh, doing tech support on a Mac is certainly easier now that I've got access to Windows without having to reboot. Uh, it's it's kind of nice, i got to admit. It is kind of nice. Okay, so it's very nice. Uh, I've waxed philosophic long enough. Leave a message, follow up, comment, whatever. Uh, I'm always open to your feedback. It's specifically now that we're starting a new war between Parallels and VMware Fusion. Which one do you think is FTW for the win? Uh, and if you want to throw in your two cents, you're welcome to come by our website, as ADHD says. Oh, wait. No, ADHD says not to come by the website. Well, Crazy Crisco, Gray Fox 616, Joker 78... Uh, who else says it? Uh, Paycon says it. Uh, that's the URL, live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.